Hello, it's Leslie here. Today's story is called Who Counts? 100 Sheep, 10 Coins, and Two Sons. It's by Amy Jill Levine and Sandy Eisenberg Sasso, illustrated by Margot Magunk. One hundred sheep. One hundred sheep. If just a single one were lost, who would notice? Who counted sheep anyway? The man did. The man had a lot of sheep, one hundred of them. He counted them every day. He kept counting. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. It took a long time to count, a long time. One day the man counted 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Hmm. Then he stopped. There were only 99. He must have made a mistake. He had 100 sheep. Not 99. He counted again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Still, there were only 99. One of his sheep was missing. He was responsible for all the sheep, all 100 of them. Immediately, the man went to look for the lost sheep. He walked and walked, but he saw nothing. He kept walking. He looked to the left, nothing. He looked to the right, nothing. He walked and he listened, still nothing. Then he heard it, a bleeding sound. He ran toward the sound, and there she was, the lost sheep. He had found her. She was too tired to follow him home, so he lifted her on his shoulders and carried her. He was so happy to have all his sheep together that he invited everyone to celebrate. Some people said, what's so wonderful? There's only one sheep. You had 99 others. The man smiled. One sheep makes a difference. Without her, something is missing. Now my flock is complete. Ten coins. Ten drachmas. Ten silver coins. Every day the woman would count them. Then one day she counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She stopped. She couldn't have made a mistake, but she counted again anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still she counted only nine. One drachma was missing. She had lost one of her coins. The woman lit a lamp to see more clearly. She looked under chairs and in corners. No coin. She looked in cabinets and in wastebaskets. Still, no drachma. She took a broom and swept the floor. There were crumbs and dust, but no coin. It was her fault. She had lost the coin, and now she must find it. She searched again with the light and the broom. Finally, she saw something shining and heard a ping. She looked down, and there it was, the missing coin. 
She held the coin in her hand for a few moments. Then she carefully placed it with the other drachmas. She was so happy to have all the coins that she invited the women in the town to celebrate. Some people said, why is it so important? It was only one coin. The woman smiled. Just one coin matters. Without it, something is missing. Now my coin collection is complete. Two Sons A father had two sons. Easier to count than ten, much easier than one hundred. One day, the younger son wanted half his father's money. It would be his eventually, but he could not wait. He was restless and he wanted to travel. So the father divided his wealth in half and gave half to his younger son and half to his older son. The younger son went to a foreign land. There he had a great time doing whatever he wanted. But before long, he had spent all the money and had none left, not even to pay for food. There was no one to share even a crumb of bread with him, as there was little food in the land. The son went to work for a farmer to try to earn enough to buy something to eat. The farmer told him to go and feed the pigs. Even the pods that the pigs ate looked good. Finally, the son was so hungry and tired that he decided to return to his father. But he wasn't sure what to say. How could he tell his father that he had spent all the money? His good pants were torn. His shirt was stained. His fancy shoes had holes. He thought, I will tell my father that I made a big mistake. I will say that I am sorry. I will offer to work hard to earn money. The young son returned home. His hair was uncombed, his face was dirty, and his hands were covered in blisters. His father ran to greet him. He was so happy to see him that he did not care about anything else. Instead of making his son earn money for clothing and food, he gave him a new coat, new shoes, and even a new ring. Then he invited everyone to his home to celebrate. The older son was still working in the field when he heard the happy sounds of singing and laughter and smelled sweet spices coming from his home. He wondered what was happening. He stopped one of the neighbors who was heading to his house and asked, what's going on? The neighbor was surprised by the question. Don't you know that your father is making a big party for your brother to mark his return? The older brother did not know. When the father counted everyone who came to the party, he realized that one person was missing. That person was his older son. He had forgotten to invite him. He ran out of his house to find his son. When the older son saw his father coming toward him, he turned away. He was sad and angry that no one had come to find him. His father spoke softly. Your brother has come home. I invited all our friends to celebrate with us. You must come and be glad with us. He tried to hug his son, but his son folded his arms across his chest. The older son finally said to his father, I have been with you all the years that my brother has been away. I did not waste your money. I did everything you wanted me to do. I never left you, but my brother did. Then you make a big party for him. You never had one for me. You didn't even invite me to his. The father thought, I have two sons, one, two. I paid attention to my younger son, but I discounted my older son. I didn't realize that he felt lost. The father took his older son's hands in his own. Please come and join the party. I love you. All I have is yours. Come and be with me and with your brother. I have two sons. He counted one 
and he pointed to the house where his younger son was celebrating. He counted two, and he put his arm around his older son. Without you, he said, something is missing. With you, our family is complete. The end for now. Now I wonder what part of this story was your favorite? I wonder what part you feel like is especially for you today. I wonder what you wonder about.